Need stop. Need stop. Hi there, Scary Gary. Glad you guys came back. Well, I'm going to do kind of a revision video this time. It's going to be on the cargo net. Uh, I'll put a link in the show notes to show you the, the last one I did. But ran a little problem with the cargo net. Number one, the cargo net did a very good job of keeping things in, but it was extremely hard to get it down. Which, you know, hey, if you're talking about just getting some items that we put up there on that top bunk down, yeah, I could take the time. But where this really became an issue was we just had a camp out with my uh, daughter, son-in-law, and uh, two girl twins that uh, they have and they slept in the top bunk. And when you have two little crying toddlers up there that wanna get down and see their mommy and get out of it, whatever, you don't wanna take all the time in the world getting those things down. So um, I saw something had to be done. Now, originally what I did was I kinda of measured the spot up and I figured I need some stretch with the, with the cargo neck because it is a bungee type cord and things like this. And it was fairly tight. So it was extremely hard to kind of get to put some pressure on to hook those things up. And then the other thing was I used snap rings on it that had like little clips that made it so that they uh, would go over the D ring at the top, which added another problem. Because the D ring kind of sets there and as you're trying to get it, the D ring's moving back and forth. So First things first, I was thinking about extending it with little pieces of uh, bungee cord on the bottom and on the top and making it a little longer. But I found at Harbor Freight, basically the next size up. I believe this one was, uh, the, this original one was, uh, it wasn't quite uh, two feet. And, uh, and it was, I can't remember what the length of it was, but it was, it just made it where it was just barely where you had to stretch it real hard. But Harbor Freight had one that was four foot by about another six or seven inches on each side. So I went ahead and bought that other net instead of trying to buy some bungee material. And it went, it's probably a good foot too long. But all I did was just put that foot underneath the mattress. So I just kind of made it a hook there. Now I left the D hooks and the snap rings underneath on the bottom because we're not going to be using them. I mean, if we take this thing down, we basically tuck it underneath that mattress and we just use it like a regular bed at that point. No, no uh, cargo net or anything else. The next thing I did was I took off all of the D hooks that were on the wall that were had the little flexing part of it and I put a true D hook that was solid that had two screws in it. And that made it so that when you go to put a hook on it, the, the D hook's not sliding back and forth. Uh, I also, with those, instead of putting them sideways along that top rail, I turned them the other way so it's easier to actually address them this way instead of trying to hook it past that top little sliding rail that we use for the curtain up there. Um, the last thing that I specifically did with it is I changed out the snap rings to just make it like a little S hook on it. And I took the bottom part of the S hook and I crimped it so it's connected to it. And the S hooks that I got, they actually have little rubber uh, tips on them, which they would come off and on. So I actually glued them on because I didn't want the little girls to basically get scratched up with them or anything like that but by far all you have to do is just click 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 click, and it, it comes straight down now the only disadvantage that i see with it is it's quite a bit more flexible you know and in my first thoughts were well, okay what happens if a kid tries to fall out of it if a kid tries to fall out of it they're going to come out a little ways but the truth of the matter what do you have that up there for so they don't hit the floor and believe me, coming out a little bit is not going to make them hit the floor. So this just makes it where it's, it's, it's easier to use, which is what we're going to use probably 80% of the time. 
And the main purpose we're putting up in the first place is when we have our little ones staying up there where they need to have a little protection and it allows it to basically be taken down, put back up so, so easily. Well, I hope this has been informative and I sure hope to see you next time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Put the comments down below. Subscribe and you make us happy, right, Maggie? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh.